Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marles Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Mathematics 6 and I'm Teacher Les. At the end of the lesson, you must be able to Number 1. Represents quantities in real-life situations using algebraic expressions and equations. Number 2. Solves routine and non-routine problems involving different types of numerical expressions and equations such as 7 plus 9 equals blank plus 6. To represent quantities in real-life situations using algebraic expressions and equations, you need to use your skills in translating verbal expressions and equations. Let's have an example. If twice a number is increased by 11, the result is 35. What is the number? Para madali nating makuha ang sagot, kailangan nating i-translate ang word phrases to expressions. Kung natatandaan nyo pa, one of the topics in our previous lesson is translating verbal expressions and equation. Nagbili din ako ng mga associated words to the different fundamental operations na magagamit natin ngayon para masolve ang mga problems. So, let x be the number. To find the value of the number, we need to translate Tries a number is increased by 11, the result is 35. So, isa-isa natin siyang translate para makuha natin yung value ng number. So, una, let's translate tries a number. Tries a number means 3x. Increase by 11, increase means addition. So, this is plus 11. The result is this is equal, then 35. Equals 35. So, the algebraic equation is 3x plus 11 equals 35. Let us find the value of the unknown. We will use the different properties that you learned in our previous lesson. 3x plus 5 equals 5. Para ma-isolate ang variable x, kailangan nating alisin ang 11. Ililipat natin siya from left side of equal sign to the right side. So, from plus 11, magigis siyang minus 11. So, we have 3x equals 35 minus 11 for the subtraction property of equality. So, 35 minus 11, this is equal to 24. So, para maalis ang 3x or ang 3, nakatabi ng variable x, we will divide both side by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, we can cancel that. So, we have x is equal to 8. So, 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. So, the value of the variable x is 8. So, to check the result, so let's substitute x with 8. So, 3x. So, substitute x with the value of the number. So, 3 times 8. Plus 11 equals 35. So, 3 times 8 is equal to 24 plus 11 is equal to 35. 24 plus 11 is equal to 35, 35. So, since um, they are equal, our answer is correct. Another example, 7 less than twice a number is 15. What is the number? So, let y be the number para mahanap natin yung value ng number. Then, 7 less than twice a number is 15. So, magtatranslate ulit tayo para makuha natin yung value ng number. So, let's translate 7 less than twice a number. So, less than, this is subtraction. Since meron tayong word na dan, so, mahuhuli yung 7. Then, maunang isusulat yung twice a number. So, we have 2y minus 7. Is 15 is, is associated to equals. So, we have equals 15. So, the algebraic equation is 2y minus 7 equals 15. So, maaari na natin isolve yung value ng variable y. So, let's solve the equation. So, we have 2y minus 7 equals 15. So, para ma-isolate natin yung 2y, kailangan natin alisin yung minus 7 dito sa left side ng equal sign. So, para matanggal ito, gagamit tayo ng addition property of equality. So, from minus 7, magigis siyang plus 
7. Ililipat natin sa kabila. So, we have plus 7. So, 2y equals 15 plus 7. So, 15 plus 7 is equal to 22. So, para matanggal naman yung katabi ng variable y, we need to divide both side by 2. Then, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 or cancel. So, the value of y is 11. So, to check the result, let's substitute the value of y. So, 2 times 11, the value of y, minus 7 is equal to 15. 2 times 11 is equal to 22, then minus 7 is equal to 15. Since equal, our answer is correct. Another example, 8 less 5 times a number is 3 times the number. So, let m be the number. So, we will translate 8 less 5 times a number is 3 times the number. So, 8 less 5 times a number. So, less means subtraction. So, we have 8 minus 5m. Then, is 3 times a number. This is translated to equals 3m. So, the algebraic equation is 8 minus 5m equals 3m. So, to solve the equation, 8 minus 5m equals 3m. So, combining like terms, we will combine 3m and 5m since pareho sila na merong variable m. So, ang negative 5m ay lilipat natin dito sa kabila using the addition property of equality. So, from minus 5m, magiging siyang plus 5m. And then, we will combine. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Then, copy the variable m. So, to isolate letter m, we will divide both sides by 8. Then, 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. So, the value of m is 1. So, let us check the result. So, substitute the value of m. So, 8 minus 5m equals 3m. So, 8 minus 5 times 1, the value of m is equal to 3 times 1, the value of m. So, we have 8 minus 5. This is equal to 3. So, our answer is correct. Example number 4. 13 times a number is equal to the number increased by 24. So, let n be the number. So, 13 times a number is equal to the number increased by 24. So, translate 13 times a number. So, this is 13n is equal to the number increase. So, we have the word increase. Increase is addition. So, we have equals n plus 4. Yung equals sa word na is equal to. So, the algebraic equation is 13n equals n plus 24. So, to solve the equation, so we have 13n equals n plus 24. So, we will combine uh, 13n and n. So, since they are like terms. So, para matanggal or para makombine natin yung 13n and n, so, aalisin natin yung n dito and inilipat sa kabila using the subtraction property of equality. So, from um, positive n, magiging siyang minus n. So, we have 13n minus n is equal to 12n. So, para ma-isolate yung variable n, we will divide both sides by 12. So, 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1 or we can cancel that. So, n is equal to 2. 24 divided by 12 is 2. So, to check the result, so substitute 13n equals n plus 24. So, 13 times 2 equals 2 plus 24. So, 13 times 2 is 26. So, we have uh, 26 equals 26. So, the correct answer is 2. Since we are now familiar translating verbal expressions and equations, let us solve problems involving expressions and equations. Number 1. Helen is 13 years old. Helen's father is 4 years more than twice her age. How old is Helen's father? So for the solution, um, Helen is equal to 13 years old. Helen's father... So, 4 years more than twice her age is translated to 
2 times 13 plus 4. So, 4 years more than this is plus 4. Then, twice her age, we have 2 times 13. So, this is the age of Helen. So, to solve that, we have 2 times 13 is equal to 26 plus 4 is equal to 30. Therefore, Helen's father age is equal to 30 years old. Number 2, Edna is 155 cm tall. Lilia's height is 10 cm less than twice Edna's height. How tall is Lilia? So, to solve that, Edna is equal to 155 cm. Lilia is equal to 2 times 155 minus 10. So, 10 cm less than twice Edna's height. So, this is translated to 2 times 155 minus 10. So, to solve, we have 2 times 155 is equal to 310 minus 10 is equal to 300. Therefore, Lilia is 300 centimeter. Number 3, there are 60 pupils in the library. The boys are 14 more than the girls. How many girls are there? For the solution, so let n be the number of girls. So since hindi nabanggit kung ilan yung girls, so i-represent natin siya using variable n. So let n plus 14 equals number of boys. So since sinabi dito sa problem na mas madami ng 14 ang lalaki, so we have n plus 14. Mas madami ng 14 compared sa number ng babae. So we have n plus 14. So, the total number of pupils, so pag pinagsama natin yung girls and boys, we have n plus n plus 14. So, our equation is n plus n plus 14 equals 60. Sandali so, yung 60, there are 60 pupils in the library. So, to solve this, we will combine n and n. So, this is equal to 2n. Plus 14 equals 60. So, the next step is to remove 14 and isolate 2n. So, inilipat natin yung 14 dito sa kabila. So, from plus 14, magigis siyang minus 14. So, using the subtraction property of equality. So, 60 minus 14 is equal to 46. So, para maalis natin yung 2 na katabi ng variable n, i-divide natin both side ng 2. So, we have 46 divided by 2. Bakit naging letter N na lang ito? So, kinancel na po yung 2 since 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So, 46 divided by 2 is equal to 23. Therefore, the value of N is 23. Kung babalikan natin ito kanina, let us substitute, N is equal to 23. Therefore, the number of girls is 23. While the number of boys is 23 plus 14 is equal to 37. So, the total number is 60. So, to check the result, let us substitute. So, the value of n is equal to 23. So, 23 plus 23 plus 14 is equal to 60. So, 23 plus 23 is equal to 46 plus 14. So, we have 60. Therefore, the number of girls is 23. Number 4, a basket of fruits has bananas and apples. The bananas are 3 times the number of apples. There are 20 fruits in all. How many of each kind of fruits are there in the basket? So, for the solution, so let M is equal to apples. Since hindi na banggit kung gano karami yung apple, so ire-represent natin siya using variable M. Then, let 3M equals the number of bananas. So, since the problem nakalagay dito na the number or the bananas are 3 times the number of apples, so we will represent that as 3 times the number of apples. So, this is letter M. So, we have 3M. So, for the solution, we have M plus 3M equals 20. So, bahad ganito yung equation natin kasi po, there are 20 fruits in all. So, sa word na in all, so we will use addition then equals 20. So, we will combine M and 3M since pareha sila ng variable. So, we have 4M. So, para maalis natin yung variable 
or yung letter na katabi ng variable m, we will divide both side by 4. So, divide by 4, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, then 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Therefore, uh, there are 5 apples and 3 times 5 is equal to 15, there are 15 bananas. So, to check the result, let us substitute m is equal to 5. Then, the number of bananas is equal to 15. Then, m plus 3m. So, we have 5 plus 15 is equal to 20. Then, 20 equals 20. Number 5, if twice my allowance will be increased by 300 pesos, it would become 1,000 pesos. How much is my allowance? So, let x is equal to allowance or let x be the allowance. Then, twice my allowance. So, we have here twice my allowance. So, that is 2x. Then, increase by 300. So, that is plus 300. It would become 1,000. That is equals 1,000. So, for the equation, we have 2x plus 300 equals 1,000. So, we need to isolate 2x. So, yung 300, inilipat natin sa kabila using the subtraction property. So, from plus 300, magiging siyang minus 300. So, 100 minus 300 is equal to 700. Then, divide both side by 2 para maalis yung katabing number ng variable x. So, we have x is equal to 350 pesos since 700 divided by 2 is equal to 350 pesos. Therefore, uh, your allowance is 350 pesos. So, to check, so we will substitute the value of x, which is 350. So, 2 times 350 plus 300. So, we have 700 plus 300. So, this is equal to 1,000. That's the end of our discussion for today. If you have questions or clarifications, you may type your comment below. I hope that you learned how to solve problems involving algebraic expressions and equations. Thank you for watching. I'm Teacher Les. So don't forget to like and share the video. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to be updated in our next lesson.